what it does have sufficient earth here can't see the moon we need a redstone circle you know what i'm going to go get a redstone circle because it tell, tells me whenever that's achieved and we will do this uh together obviously but i'm going to come back whenever it's the right time to do it all right see you guys uh, it's becoming nighttime really quickly. Now, it's, I'm really glad that I, I mean, it's been like only a couple of seconds. I'm really glad that I went up and looked it online because there's a couple of things that we have to do. Otherwise, we need to perform a sacrifice. So that's why I got my cow there. It means we're going to have to go and look for another cow, but whatever. We can, we'll, we'll, have, we'll just have to do that. Uh, please tell me that's a redstone circle. It does. It's too early. Okay, so we just got to wait for it to be midnight here. And then we got to put a cow on there and kill it. That's the idea anyway, so, okay, make sure I've full fed. I put my Osmium armor on because, well, basically, I think it's better than having no armor and the power armor I had, I think, offered nothing, so let's just do this. Too early, too early. Where's this? Where's the moon? I think, th I think midnight is exactly when it's directly above, so let's just stand here and wait for that to happen, I guess. I'm just putting all my stuff in a in a box here, guys, because I've got a feeling I'm going to die a lot. So I'm going to keep the things I need on me uh, and put everything else away. I know that we have the, um, whatchamacallit mod, but to be honest, it doesn't always work, the gravestone. So, yeah. So we're pretty sure what we're going to do is altars in darkness, circle altar and circle placed on dirt, so that's good. Sufficient natural earth, altars and darkness, too early. So we're just going to wait, place this, do the sacrifice. I think that's everything we need to do. And then kill everybody uh, with our tiny sword. And uh, mine up the dirt and hopefully have an activated sigil. What? All right. Still waiting. I'm just going to keep right-clicking this until it happens. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that's Moonstone. <laughs> That was awesome. I never actually saw a crash like that before. Come on. This must be midnight soon, right? Okay, perform the sacrifice. Come on. Did that not count? Okay, I've got an activated sigil. No, it still says it's inactive. I need a chicken or something. Come on. Out you come, Kai. Come with me. I need to kill you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you... Oh, God. Yep, that's that should be enough. Oh, where's the leash? It's still on me. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Ah! <sighs> I've got to wait a whole other day to do it. Shit, shit, shit. It's midnight. The thing is glowing. I had to reset my thing. Okay. Bang. Perform the sacrifice. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Shit, 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 that's a lot of stuff. This curve surf spawns stuff really fast. That's the idea of it, so... We're gonna quickly try and pick up all this stuff. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Oh, God. It's the skeleton I want to take on first, I guess. Oh, dear. Those skellies are gonna knock me for six, I reckon. Come on, get on the cursed earth here. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, my elemental. Oh, that actually worked out really quite well. Okay, come on. Apparently, I just need to wait until it's day. Okay, oh shit. Or get all the cursed earth away, basically. Come on. Come on. It basically just spawns stuff super, super fast, so obviously I don't want it to be here. And it spreads too, so. Oh, come on, come on, go away, spider. So if I can at least get the edges away here, then it won't spread. I mean, actually, spreading might not be the worst thing in the world because it's nice to have this stuff. Um, oh, fuck, don't want to die, don't want to die. What am I up against? Got that moonstone! Okay, I think a skeleton hit can take me down here. Oh shit, that's his creeper. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> shit, uh, I don't even have a sword on me. Uh, and all my armor's down there. Uh, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> uh, shit. Come on, no, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Come on, I can do it. Just break this. Come on, no way. No, don't you dare blow up my... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, that's just tense. Come on, come on, come on. Get the boots on. Get the leggings on. Oh, gee. Woo. At least I got my division sigil. That's the only thing I really care about. I put most of the other stuff away. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Jesus. He's fast. Does he have a, a speed enchantment on him or something? Because they seem to be really... 
They seem to be really fast. Okay, I'm sleeping now. I'm getting rid of this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's on fire now, so hopefully all the other animals and shit will die too. Let's come back and get our gravestone. Can't believe that creeper almost blew everything up, up everything we had. Oh, thank God we, did, we didn't lose our gravestone. That would have been an absolute nightmare. Uh, boots, helmet, ding, ding. Let's see if we can rescue some more of this cursed earth. Looking unlikely, not gonna lie. Eh, we'll still get some of it. We'll get some of it. As long as we get some, I'm, I'm reasonably happy. Don't want to die on fire here, but as long as we get some, I'm reasonably happy. I don't know what I'll use it for, but it's it can be used for a general mob spawner, and I think I, I quite like the idea of that, so I think that's what I'll be using it for. It's a pity the texture is not changed. We need to get an extra utilities fax texture pack at some point. I tend to say that a lot, and then I never do anything about it. <laughs> not specifically for extra utilities, just for texture packs in general, so yeah. A bit shitty of me. Come on. There's some more cursed earth. So now that we have the activation sigil, I will be back when I'm actually crafting these etheric swords, guys. Oh, oh god, now I'm on fire. Well, at least there's water near us. So I'll be back whenever cra I've sorted out my inventory, and we're back crafting those swords. Sounds like a plan. Okay, we're back. We've got a cleaned up inventory, and we've got the stuff ready to roll with this division sigil. Now, to give you a sort of an idea of how this works, right? What you're doing with this is you're dividing by diamond. That's the concept here. And you use it to get these things. Unstable England's error. Divide by diamond. It's really unstable. And what that means is that it explodes in 10 seconds. So you've got to craft it. If you don't have use it in 10 seconds, you're fucked. So I've got it already here. You can shift click it down. But then I've got to make two swords with it here. So it's going to be a bit tough. But I think we can do it. I've practiced it in single player. It's not so bad, hopefully, this part. So, right. We're ready. And let's do this on camera. Go. Shit, shit, shit. Boom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't really talk while that was happening. So you can see there that since we used it for four things, we now have 252 uses remaining as opposed to 256. We've got a spare one, though. And I'm pretty sure what you can do is you can just reactivate it after it's got its uses. So you don't have to, like, you know. Uh, find a whole other new one. So I think we might sell that on or give it to somebody if they ask for it. But let's... Oh, we've lost our cows now. That's the real bummer about this, is that we had to lose two cows in the in the process. Where should I put my nose, guys? <laughs> That's what I need to know next. Where should I put my nose? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to be putting this stuff in here. This is our basically our nose chest, as it were. Uh, and I need to go get a slime now. So let's get this safari net launcher with us, actually. Let's go get back a thing. So we can we can go get a slime together. Uh, I'll I'll come back whenever I'm hunting around some caves for it. Um, but and I'll probably get some iron when I'm down there because since we're so low in iron. But what I want to know from you guys is where should we put our nose? I'm hoping to get this video out today, the day I'm recording it, so I can get some feedback so I can build the nose tonight. Um, my thoughts are there. Um, but maybe there so that the nose is facing that way. Maybe that would be better. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that people all come from this way, so they always come to the back side of my base. Hopefully, once we get a Miscraft portal of world, I can set that up there so people get a nicer impression of it. I think that I'll just have to go with that for now, because I do like looking out onto the water. I'm thinking there, so that if it's l so that the nose is pointing that way. That's what I'm thinking. If you guys have any ulterior thoughts or anything, leave it in the comment in the description. Leave it a comment in the comment section, and I'll be really grateful to hear what you guys think because you guys have basically decided for me where I'm going to put uh, the. Uh, oh, you almost got a stack of that. That's good. Uh, where I'm going to put the. Where's my chiller safari now? Don't tell me I've used it all, have I? Where I'm going to put the uh, skull. So you guys have helped me with that. So I need to craft another one of these jailer safari nets. And then I will go somewhere where there's a couple of slime chunks spawns together. And we will try and find a slime together. Awesome. In fact, you know what? I'm going to need an actual reusable one, aren't I? Because I'm going to need uh, to spawn it. So I need another reusable one. So I might as well make that now instead. Uh, I think you can still... Yeah, you can still use that with it. So hopefully we should be fine. So I can still get it from a distance if I need to. 
But let's look now for a area uh, where there's a couple of slime chunks together that's kind of nearby. I'm thinking there. Then we'll just dig down and hopefully look for some slimes. It's not too far away. Or maybe even there. Yeah, because what I might do then is actually go down via my mine and go for that chunk. I think that's what I'll do. So I will see you hopefully when we are in the depths and we've got closer to getting a slime. See ya. Oh. Oh. Is that a slime I hear? Oh, I think I do. I think I hear a slime. Oh, God. I hope it's a big one. It doesn't sound like a big one. Does that make sense? Can You can sometimes hear it, can't you? <laughs> I love how I have been looking for a slime for like the last 40 minutes and I see some surface and iron. I just need to get it. I'm just so low on iron. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Am I in, in capture mode? Oh, it's a small slime. Oh, it's coming after me, though. Yay! At least the capture thingy worked. So we're going to have to embiggen it. We need to get again to extra large. So that's going to take a while. And we don't have any lapis. Can we get lapis? I think we can. There's a way of getting lapis, isn't there? Uh, yeah, we could turn redstone into it. But we need a tome of alkahest. How do we get a tome? Is that something we can get now? It says perform basic hmm. We used to be able to cr craft it. So, guys, we're back. It's been actual. Oh, God, look at all that stuff. Huh. I've never seen it do that before. Wow. I guess it doesn't have anywhere to go, really, does it? Uh, because we're just not using... What the hell? Why is that not using power? Why is that going down? Come on, that should be generating power. Huh, strange. Sorry, got distracted. We are in our world again after... It's been a day since the last time I was doing stuff. I was trying to get lapis, wasn't I? And we looked up recipes for lapis, and, well, there's the Tome of Alcast one, but we couldn't get a recipe for the Tome of Alcast. Now, I went into single player, and it was the same for me. I couldn't get a recipe there for it either, but I could craft it looking up the old recipe. Now, I went and got all the materials together for the old recipe, but I'm missing one crucial one, and that is the Wither Skull. There's a number of things I could do about this. I could go craft myself a weapon that has the beheading enchantment on it, which comes from Tinker's Construct, and I find some Wither Skeletons, skeletons that would pretty much guarantee me getting, you know, some skulls. Uh, that's one way I could do it. The other way I could do it is... Oh, let's get this stuff that I... I just smelted all the ores I got when I went down mining there. Let's do the gold, too. Um... The other way I could do it, which I think I will do because I'm lazy, is I think I might steal one. <laughs> like you guys, I, I imagine like you guys, oh, that thing's chopped. I I watch a decent amount of other people's um, Chaosville videos. Now, where, where's that scythe? Surely I put the scythe in there, didn't I? Screw it, we'll get it later. And I know that GNR Francis, who's, oh shit, hello. Somebody just teleported in here because of the rain. GNR Francis, whose base is reasonably close to here. Uh, where are we? Oh, uh, there we go. Player base. There we go. Reasonably close. And there's Crane's treehouse. And just in case you guys didn't know, I'm going to show you them all now. Why not? Since we're doing this, there's GNR. Nip Day lives pretty close to me too. He lives in a nice big island. I found him. This is Yogg's Cast Will, or at least that's where he last was. We've got uh, we, Teddy. We, we worked out that this was Teddy's rule here. Uh, so, because we find it, it was like, who is this place? And we couldn't work it out. Uh, this is Port Bevo over here. We've got uh, Delta Squid's base there. Uh, we've got Lang's Witchery hut, hut there, the uh, Evil Dead cabin. We've got Dave's Mountain base. Yeah, and there's his cool nethery portal thing that he crafted, and there's his. It's so cool the way it updates. There's his uh, uh, Ars Magica stuff. Uh, it doesn't fully update. I have to go there for it to update the chunks, but I've been there recently, so that's why you get that sort of stuff. Uh, then we've got this little congregated area, which has quite a lot of people. We have the Andy's Volcano, next to Jamie's Cabin, next to Tyser's little thing, next to VG Toolbox's thing as well. I've got a feeling these guys are moving. And then, over here we've got a village. I didn't know why I put that there. But over here we've got the most famous people on the server, it's Jin and Duncan. So, I think we're going to go steal one, and I know GNR has one. Or at least, unless he's buggered around with his latest, you know, stuff. Unless he's used it, he definitely has one. But we've got an easy way of getting to his place, because he's got into Mistcraft a little bit. And he, um, 
I know he has a link to it there outside his base. So what we're going to do is we're going to, because I can't find my rod of return anywhere. We're going to ignore that Enderman, but we're going to come and we're going to make ourselves another, uh, why do we do this? It's here, isn't it? We get a link panel. I think so. I hope it's here. Come on. Give me some paper, please. Put it in there or there or something or no how do we get a link panel again oh i'm so embarrassed by not knowing these things it's in here isn't it do we not have any ink maybe we don't have any ink yeah that's probably the fact is that we probably don't have any ink to get one of these things i presume i'm pretty sure okay so i'm gonna go do this off camera i'll be back whenever i've got a link panel and get myself a couple of linking books god damn it i had i accidentally looked at that goddamn enderman oh cheeky bastard Brought me some grass. <laughs> well, screw that, I guess. Uh, oh, what have we got in here? Oh, we got a missed blank page, stupidly. Uh, that doesn't work with leather, does it? I didn't bring up the leather. I'm a moron. Okay, so I think we put it there. Okay, we got him. We got, yeah, that's how we did it. So we got ourselves a link panel. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with that blank page. Nip day, yeah. You daft mare. Okay, let's get ourselves... A th we can't get ourselves another ink file because we don't have any more ink. So we either need to go squid farming or come up with another method for that as well. Um, but let's just... I'm not too worried about it. What I basically want to make is another linking book to uh, my base here that I can put in the nether that we can use whenever we're back there. So I'm going to make it look this way, as all of them, as I do with all of them. We're going to eat, and then we're going to... He's not online, so I'm hoping that we can get there and get it, you know, pretty easily. But I don't want him to not know who left him it. I want to be, like... I, I, you know, I'm not into just anonymously stealing stuff. So, yes, we do have some steel. Awesome. We're going to make ourselves something that I, I talked to other people about. Uh, and they said there's this thing called the identification card. And it has your face on it whenever you I, whenever you use it to identify. So we need some steel around paper. So luckily we still have the paper in our inventory. And then we need to get some redstone, uh, which we have quite a lot of. So that's so that's no problem. Oh, and then hopefully we can link it, and it should show our face. Uh, how do I do this now? I just shift click it or something? Yes, there we go. <laughs> and now it's literally my calling card. So. I might actually call this my calling card. Okay, that's good to know. We need 5 XP. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Come over here, get some of this. There we go. I need to actually automate that a bit more. I don't like it crafting into bottles. I don't think that's necessarily the best thing we should be doing with it. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Anvil. Calling card. Should I call it a call? Uh. Calling card. There we go. Ooh, there's Dave online. Hmm. Might go record with Dave in a bit. Uh, but yes, let's go and steal the Wither Skull first, and then we can get some lapis, and then we can embiggen that slime, and that's where we'll call it, I think, for the day. I'm gonna slightly hide it. Yeah. No one, no one will find it down there. <laughs> and that should take us back. And, yeah, it just speeds things up. In the future, I'll be able to. I'll might make a little linking Netherworld. Okay, so we're here. We need to find. We need to find the wither skeleton. If this is something you like, me, uh, not necessarily stealing things, but uh, giving pe giving tours of people's bases every now and again, let me know, guys, because I'd sure be happy to do it a bit more than I currently do. Hmm. If I were GNR, where would I put a wither skull? Well, there's some stairs up here into the rest of the base, so I guess we'll just be logical about this and follow it the... You know, logical sort of a way. Bedside chest. Yeah. I think I remember him having it on a shelf. Aha! There we go. <laughs> awesome. We've got the weather skull we need. Now, how do we display this? Um, I think I want a sign. So I'm going to steal some of his wood. Uh, there we go. I have a sign. But I think I'll also have a, yeah, oh shit, no, no, not with that, I want to take one of these, because I'll, Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened there? I did not know we had one of those on that part of the wall. 
We're going to make one of these. I'm thinking this might be the best way of displaying that. So I'm going to... Sure. That was a silly thing to do. Don't fall on top of the little barrier. <sighs> All the things it could have done. <laughs> Jesus. I don't really want to put... I'm going to put it here, I think, actually. And I'm hoping it'll display my face on it. It does. That's so cool. It even rotates for some reason. That's very strange. Um, we're going to make a sign. And... We're going to say... Thanks... For the skull. Let's, th let's do this up a line so we have enough space. Thanks for the skull left my calling card. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny and I like the way it renders my face there. That's pretty cool. So we're going to go home now and use this so I will meet you back home, guys. Oh, look at that for skill. Boom. Tome of Alcahest. Let's go make some lapis and then let's go make us some slime and beginners. And uh, let's pick up this slam, and then next time, after some feedback from you guys, I can, uh, I think it's this, isn't it? I can make some, um, I can make the nose, hopefully, so that should be cool. Come on, now is it like this? How do I do it? Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. that, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to click on lapis to see it's, I need one lapis to begin with. No! <laughs> We got two, so... Okay, bit of a waste probably. It's worth a go. We need to get a piece of lapis. Uh, if I can't get it from this, I'll go to the nether and mine one. Because I'm sure I can see them more better in the nether. The, there's so much caves in the nether that they're easy, easier seen. But I, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather do it in an interesting, different way. So, just cross your fingers that we get some lapis. Yes! Oh! Ooh, fingers so heavily crossed. <laughs> okay, awesome. Is it this? That's one I cannot remember this at all. Tome, lapis, one. Not working. Not working. For whatever goddamn reason, it is not working. Maybe that these tome recipes have been disabled in Resident Rise uh, slash Chaosville. I am apologizing for not knowing that. Uh, <laughs> that's all of a sudden very embarrassing because we might have theoretically just wasted that last half of the episode uh, let's go sleep so that Dave doesn't have to put up with monsters during the night but then we need to go to get Lapis I'm pr mm. no okay I'm, tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to stop recording here go get Lapis and I'll bring it back and then we'll just be ready to embig in that slime so I'll find some Lapis really close to my portal <laughs> so feeling a bit dumb I just didn't go do this in First and foremost, um, just a little tip got from Kieran Dave, the maker of Resident Rise. If you use Silk Touch on these Nether ores, you do not, and I repeat, you do not uh, blow anything up. It basically stops you blowing things up, so that's super handy because it means we can get some of these really valuable Nether ores. Hecate, you can piss the piss off. Did you steal any of my lapis? No. Okay. I'm still touching it, not only that, but I'm thinking I might, like, I don't know whether it's better to, um, to macerate this. Oh, God, 24? Yes, it is. Um, I'm presuming that's the same for a pulverizer, but if it's not, well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I thought I could have sworn I got that glowstone. Do we have a bit of nether, nether regen here? Strange. Anyway, let's go up and get this stuff, too, and I'll meet you back whenever we've got this all set up. Apologies for that sort of bit of a, bit of a... Waste of a waste of a theft with a waste of a um, calling card thing, but it was fun. So I hope you guys liked it nevertheless. But sorry that I didn't know the rules about the the lapis spawning. Well, I'll be better about that in the future. Sorry. Well, we are coming out our ears with lapis now. So just from like one two minute trip to the Nether. So I am really sorry about how dumb that was of me to do. <laughs> Come on, why does this not work? when shift click doesn't work because it would have been so much more sense for me to just uh, pop into the nether and do that but I didn't for some dumb reason uh, but anyway we've got our slime and beginning stuff now so what I'm going to do is just get everything of these in my inventory 
Uh, we can leave that in there for the time being. And we're going to go find a place where we can embiggen this guy. Uh, I need. I think if what if I'm going to try and do actually is maybe trap him somewhere. But if I... Ooh, what's that doing in there? That's a bit silly to be using it in there. But if I use this, I can shift click and go to release mode. So we can do it slightly from a distance. Um, that would be the perfect spot if it wasn't for... Uh, the villagers, but maybe in here will work. Okay. So. Slime and slime and biggend. Slime and biggend. Slime and biggend. Oh shit, oh shit. Catch it. Oh god. Extra large. Not that much health. Uh, hey, tell you what, that's actually not that bad a thing, because then it'll take less hits for us to kill him. I'm pretty sure that will make a difference. It might affect XP. No, I don't think it will. Hmm. If anything, maybe I can... No. Well, yeah. Maybe I can... I only needed three in the end as well. Maybe I can damage him a bit more. And that way he'll die instantly. Oh, no. Whenever you spawn him, he gets his health back. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, so, awesome. Now we've got an extra large slime. The next episode... After your feedback, we can work out where we're going to build it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to build it there, but if I hear anything different, I will definitely take it on board. So I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.